World final at Adeline Grant. Adeline, second round. Do you not go to your back and shoot the Suzuki down? Well, I don't know. I know it's, it's fighting. <laughs> so what, what happened in that process after that? Why were, you, why were you able to attack her and get that leg lace right there? I think I was sitting back on my heels a little bit going into that period. I a little too comfortable with my barely lead. So I could score her at any point. It's just a matter of when I turn it on. Really dominant thus far. I mean, obviously a little scary moment there. Yeah. But, you know, overall dominant. You know, every match you've been just on point. What do you got to do tonight to, to carry the dominance into the finals? You know, this should have been the finals last year, and I'm kind of excited that we kind of get our due time because last year, this was a first round match, and I knew that we were the best two girls in the world, so I'm excited to go out there and just prove that I deserve to be here. Do you think that she had gotten back points against you, though, when she did take No, you I mean, the rules are just uh, feet to back. I mean, I landed on my hip first, so that makes it all of a sudden just an exposure point. So I think the scoring was correct. I'll have to go back and watch it, but all I know is I scored more points than she did. How much danger do you feel in this? I had a little moment where I was like, I am not getting pinned out here, so I think that little moment is kind of is good for you sometimes to keep it real and make sure you understand that you got to go out there and fight for every moment and every, every position. Can you talk about the effect of the uh, home crowd too? Oh, it's awesome. Seeing all my family and my friends in the crowd, like my best friend's uh, parents are here and my best friend, this is the first time she's ever seen me wrestle. And so we've been friends since we were six years old. That's when I started wrestling. I feel like she should have seen a match by now. <laughs> So it's awesome that she's here on this grand stage and my boyfriend and my family and it's, it's awesome seeing people that I know and love in the crowd just getting so excited about this opportunity. Routine between now and the finals tonight, what is it? Uh, I think I'm just going to stay here, do what I do every single time. No, no stranger to be in the, in the finals, so have a routine I'm going to stick with it. Hi E6! <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. When it was, uh, you, you scored uh, eight unanswered points there when it was 2-2 and you were losing on criteria. Uh-huh. Um, do you get nervous at all in situations like that? No, or, I'm I never mean, nervous when I'm on top. I feel great there. I feel like I feel like if, if an artist all of a sudden got to go and paint, that's how I feel when I'm on top. There's just so many options, so many scoring opportunities. I mean, that's exactly where I want to be. So there's no nerves since I get on top. I can end matches there. With the two points that you gave up the first two of this tournament? Yeah, I think those are. And uh, I mean, is that something that you think about? You know, no. going unscored on? I mean, these are tough girls. You can't expect to go undefeated the whole time. And I mean, it'd be nice. It's a nice thought to say that I would love to have nobody score a point on me. But each one of these girls is throwing their best stuff at me, and mm -hmm. I have a target on my back. And I was expecting to have to battle through some some matches today, and that's exactly what she made me do: was fight. Great stuff. Thank you. Stop, everybody. Congrats.